Come on, Grim Dawn. <laughs> okay, uh, for this part, for Burwich, what I'm going to want to do is get the cloth that's at the waterfront first, I think. Because one, one, it's gonna get me all set up for that quest, and two, I'm only a couple rotting soldiers away from finishing this quest. So it's like I'll have that the the quest for the cloth set up pretty quickly, I think. And in in getting that, it'll raise my reputation in uh in Devil's Crossing. Both of these quests should do it, so that I will be able to. Better afford um, potions at the at the drunk dealers. That, not ready. that and it will get me experience that I feel like I really need. Oh, one thing I'm going to do before I do that, though. We're going to set up the next. I'm going to set up a future quest that I may or may not do, depending on. Depending on, on how far I take this, I may or may not go and do this quest. Oh, that's my last riding soldier I think I need. That is indeed 15. I haven't been looking over at my quest logs. <laughs> so you know what, I'm going to run and turn that in real quick. That'll just make life a little easier in general for me. And I can set up the Flesh Warp Mutants quest. Did I not get reputation off that? Oh. Bite me. <laughs> Um, keeping Dyrenia alive means I will be able to fight him later when he ends up in Cronley's, Cronley's camp. So, yeah, she's not ready for it. She's not ready to give me the cloth quest. And the bite me was definitely towards the, uh... <laughs> turning in the rotting soldiers quest and not getting reputation off it. Do I actually have a complete cracked load stone? Doesn't it give me lightning strike? Okay, yeah, I don't want that yet. Piercing aura, fire blast, uh, lightning strike, and slam are all not really worth it right now for my character. An aura would be great, but that requires me getting um, a cold stone, I think would be the first one I'd go for. Yeah, that's the other thing about going cold instead of lightning with this setup. The the cold stone, I definitely would say, is a better... Um, there it is. Is a better option for... Um, a weapon component. Than amber. I mean, I'm still gonna go for lightning as an elemental, 
It's just, it's going to be secondary to cold, I think. Like a, 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 a tuned lodestone in my metal is definitely going to be a thing I go for later on. Provided I live that long. Because the attuned lodestone's little responsibility is actually really great to have. Especially if you've geared any lightning at all. So I was saying in a, in a previous video, the bad fights that are coming up, um, or that I, the fights that I'm like a little nervous about, and the Warden is definitely one of them. After the fight in Bur at the, the Gate of Burwich to get the portal, um, secure the portal, the, the fight with the Warden is definitely on my list of fights I'm nervous about, because he's such a, like, huge boss battle that it's... He's definitely worthy of being the Act 1 final boss. But the thing is, like... He's not the only fight I'm worried about. The the, the big one at Cronley's is um, Moneybags Martin. Is one I'm not looking forward to. Because he will he can spam that stupid bomb he does. I think it's just Granado he spams. So it's like, yeah, that's bad. Um... Like, I'm not even a fan of dealing with that on my regular character. <laughs> Can't even imagine what hardcore is going to be like. And then, um... And then Cronley himself is, in, is an insane fight. Or when, when you're still under-leveled, Cronley's fight is insanity. It's such a huge horde of mobs he brings into that fight. It's just not looking forward to it. It's fabric number one. I think it's three. It's pretty easy to get. Okay, cold ones, <laughs> definitely a thing I'm, I'm, I'm worried about, just in general, with this guy, because I can't freeze him, resistant to cold damage, predictably enough, so they just become kind of a pain in the ass to deal with, when half your build is cold. Not enough of a reason for me to go to lightning, though. Anyways, um... Hard fights also include, after Cronley, I'd probably say, Ah, you stupid hellhound! Or Rift Town, or whatever the hell you are. Um, after Cronley, I'd probably say, um, God damn it. Um, I'd probably say... I'm trying to think of what comes after Cronley's gang in the game. Um, we go into the, uh... We go in the Undercity, which is not going to be good. <laughs> Zarthazelin would probably be the next really difficult one. Oh no, uh, Kilrian would probably be the next difficult one. Kilrian, Zarthazelin. 
Just the un the the crypt related bosses would all be tough, I think. Tough to fight carefully. Okay, can't drop anything on them. Yeah, I saw a frozen guy up there. Rip me. <laughs> saw a frozen guy up there. Rip me. He's right here. if the damn sky shards would hit the thing. <laughs> that thing make dog sounds? <laughs> like a chihuahua? Oh man, imagine a, a heroic chihuahua in this game. That'd be frightening. Most OP enemy. Zero out of ten would not would not fight. After Zartha Zelen, I think it's a pr the troll in the in the uh, smugglers pass. It's another big one. I I would not want to fight. <laughs> yeah, but uh, after that troll, I don't really think there's anything that bad until until you get to until you get to to dealing with um. Sorry, just looking at my gear there. Um, until you get to uh, the uh, <laughs> when you have to choose your order, because both both sides just. <sighs> <laughs> Both sides, they have their own respective, man, that'd be a bitch to deal with in hardcore fights. I am immediately thinking of, because I, I have ordered Thess Vigil on my main character. Um, I don't know what the, the Kaiman's Chosen have to deal with. I know all of the Death's Vigil guys are summoners, and they lifesteal, which is a pain, but Sister Bravna, land the damn meteors on the damn rat things. <laughs> Half the fights would go faster if you just hit the damn monsters. Anyways, Sister, Sister Bravna. Is a piece of work. I will honestly say that's that's one of the the scarier fights I've had to deal with in the new content. Cause she blit the the first thing she does is blitz you, and it's like that's kind of frightening. That's kind of sort of really frightening. Okay, we're picking up conversion and a. Point in mental alacrity. So hopefully things will go a little faster. Um. Well, not really. <laughs> not really noticeable. But I'm hoping we're going to get a little faster on the attack now.
and to think I, I was kind of hopeful I'd be at the next waypoint in this video, but I think it's—I think we're gonna have to—we're gonna have to wait till next time on that. So, uh, thanks to everyone for watching. Um, I'm gonna rescue Kasparov's assistant, and then we'll hopefully that'll give us enough reputation to push us into friendly with uh, with Devil's Crossing. I would assume so. We're only 150 points out on that, so it's like, it's like I I would assume we're we're getting very near just having access to the quartermaster, even though the quartermaster is not anything special right now. Um, and I'll find the apprentice. I'll gain access to the born seller, and hopefully we'll turn in the cloth quest next time. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these videos, and I'll see you guys then.